Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. This video is from chapter number 1, Introduction to Microwaves. So till now, the various microwave band designations, the introduction to microwave devices, microwave system, various microwave applications I hope is very well familiar with you people. To understand the basic principles of microwave devices, we have gone through electron motion formulation for the presence of electric field, magnetic field individually, then electromagnetic field, one problem also we have solved for that. The microwave equations, how exactly the wave behaves, the analysis with the help of the parameters, the components it has that we have gone through along with the knowledge of pointing vector that gives us the information regarding the power flow associated with this microwave. Now, with the microwave propagation into the lossless media or the free space that we have seen into the previous video, we must have a knowledge how the microwave propagation will be there if the case of medium is lossy. So let us begin with the topic. So in the previous video, the condition that it was, the medium was free space or lossless dielectric. So every medium that we characterize with the help of the three parameters, that is sigma, the conductivity, epsilon, the permittivity, and mu, the permeability of the medium. So sigma, sigma conductivity, we kept it equal to zero. So in this case, the medium is lossy, very first of all, if you consider the good conductor, so that time sigma won't be equal to zero. Now, if we take the condition sigma that is very, very greater than omega epsilon, generally sigma upon omega epsilon is the ratio that we consider equal to tan theta, which is actually the loss tangent. So, if the value of this ratio sigma upon omega epsilon is greater than 1 or less than 1 or is equal to 1. So depending on this value, we generally categorize the medium to be a good conductor, bad conductor or semiconductor. So here we consider the condition sigma very very greater than omega epsilon. That means the ratio is very very greater than 1. So it is the case of good conductor. So, in such a medium, the propagation we have, very first of all, the propagation denoted by the gamma, the generalized equation we can write with the help of a square root here. Inside here we have j omega mu in the bracket sigma added with j omega epsilon here. So, the propagation constant here we have and for this portion sigma and omega epsilon if you divide it by omega epsilon here to throw out you shall be having this particular bracket term here the effective changes into the propagation constant need to be considered here the propagation constant gamma we know that it is equal to alpha plus j beta the attenuation constant to be the real part and the phase shift constant in the imaginary part so for attenuation constant and phase shift constant the same formula is applicable so alpha is equal to beta and it is given by square root of pi f mu into sigma so pi is the constant this is the frequency mu is the permeability and sigma is the conductivity so this is really very very important for the good conductor this is the applicable condition with respect to the attenuation and phase shift. Next to that, here we have del. So del is actually the skin depth. So I have already made it clear that the electromagnetic wave basically or the microwave if you take cannot penetrate inside a perfect conductor. But practically whatever the conductors here we have, either it is the case of copper or aluminium, there will be the extent of penetration of microwave inside it up to certain extent. After that, the E and H components will be getting vanished. So, the how much distance it has penetrated inside that we generally 
give it as skin depth and denote by this particular tail so for the case of good conductor which is not exactly the perfect conductor it is not 100% but it is good so for that condition here we have the tail that is given by uh, 1 upon under root pi f mu sigma so simply we can write it is nothing but 1 upon attenuation constant alpha or 1 upon phase shift constant beta so this formula also I outline that is very very important while we consider the microwave propagation in the good conductor now if you talk the case of intrinsic impedance the intrinsic impedance for the good conductor can be given by eta that is equal to the generalized formula here we have square root of in the numerator here we have j omega mu divided by the denominator is sigma plus j omega epsilon so substituting the condition sigma is very very greater than omega epsilon this formula for intrinsic impedance eta can be modified to here we have square root of j omega mu divided by simply sigma the unit of measurement will be ohms now as for the practical conductors we have the skin depth also defined by the formula the intrinsic impedance just now we have defined on to the surface whatever the resistivity that is offered by the good conductors that is not perfect one so that can also be accounted by the surface resistance that we can give the symbol r suffix s so the surface resistance r suffix s can also be formulated with the help of these parameters so here it is given as under root of omega mu divided by twice sigma so this is the surface resistance that is observed onto the good conductors now as we have discussed the propagation of microwave through the good conductor there may be a poor conductor medium also for example we can take the case of seawater Generally for sea water, the sigma conductivity value is approximately 4 moles per meter. So sigma for sea water is 4 moles per meter. And the dielectric constant, so dielectric constant generally it is given by epsilon the permittivity but relative dielectric constant epsilon r. So epsilon r for the sea water will be approximated to the value 20 here. So the medium like sea water is not having the considerable conductivity. So we cannot take it as the proper good conductor. So here these also are the certain mediums through which the microwave propagation has to go through. So depending on the values that we obtain for these particular parameters, the corresponding changes has to be made into the alpha, beta, gamma, eta, the velocity v. Now next to the sea water the example that we have taken about there may be the poor dielectric also. So for the poor dielectrics if you take the help of that loss tangent that is actually the ratio sigma upon omega epsilon. So for the case of good conductor we have taken it to be very very greater than 1 or sigma very very greater than omega epsilon we have to take the condition for the lossy dielectrics sigma will be very very less than omega epsilon so this way if you put the conditions onto the basic equations for the attenuation constant phase shift constant propagation constant the intrinsic impedance velocity of propagation that are actually derived into the electromagnetic field theory the corresponding changes you can see and they will also be applicable to the microwave propagation into the medium that we have selected so i hope this video has given you the essential knowledge to begin exactly with the microwave engineering by the second chapter we exactly start with the first type of microwave devices to generate the microwave energy so if you want to have some more information regarding this subject or some another subject you can subscribe to ekada channel thank you